Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'du Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh A question was asked Assalamu alaikum Ustaz, I hope you're doing well I would like to seek your advice as the month of Ramadan is near So this was a question from a while ago Unfortunately this year I'm obliged to work the late shift and graveyard shift during the blessed month of Ramadan Some days I work between 4 to 12 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. and another day of the week I work the 12 a.m. to the 8 a.m. shift. This bothers me as I will not be able to attend the masjid frequently and will not be able to pray much qiyam al when I get home from work. I tend to be very tired and find myself to be in need of sleep during the day. Prior to this job, I spent seven months unemployed looking for jobs that are mainly halal. Thus, I can't afford to lose this job at the moment and can't request to have the month off. I request a morning shift but was unable to obtain that. I'm a bit troubled by this, but I acknowledge that everything goes according to Allah's will. I am still searching for ways to benefit from this Ramadan, especially since I've been feeling spiritually low. I would like to hear your beneficial advice. Also, please make dua for me as I am greatly in need of Allah's mercy. Thank you in advance. May Allah continue to bless you and your beloved ones as well. I mean. And may Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala bless you and your beloved ones as well. I mean, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all, bless us all, bless us all to gain maximum benefit from this holy month of Ramadan. I mean, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So as far as your situation, Ettaqullah Mastata'atum. Fear Allah as much as you can. And so pray when you have the opportunity to pray. If you, you say you're working some days between 4 to 12 a.m., <coughs> Uh, 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. Now, so then after that, pray Qiyam uh, al You know, pray on your own. The main thing is to have that sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and use your time, use this blessed month to your, your benefit. Benefit from it as much as you can. So you may not be able to go to the masjid like you want to be. Your heart is there. And this is a sign of Iman in and of itself. But with that being the case, since you are unable to, fear Allah as much as you can. Worship in, in your environment. Make dua often and safeguard your fasting. Making dhikr, making dua, avoiding the backbiting that, take places, that takes place at many workplaces. Uh, just do everything you can to surround yourself in good. Start trying to memorize something, maybe an ayah, maybe some dua, whatever, and take that and then recite that in your head, you know, something short. Take that every day, a little part of a dua, and in one or two days, you'll have something, okay? And maybe we'll start this actually here, uh, start a little program if I can manage my time during this Ramadan to, for us to memorize something small, little duas, and that way we, we benefit something by the end of the holy month of Ramadan. So this is very important to put yourself on a schedule. You Now you know your work schedule. Now it's time to make your ibadah schedule. How can you get tawfiq? Of course you need to sleep and you need to give your body its rights. But try your best to uh, uh, you know balance as best as you can. And also, one thing you can do, I would imagine, because that way you're asking this question, is listen to beneficial lectures. Listen to those people who are calling you to good, who are reminding you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who are helping you to practice and bring yourself closer to Allah. And there are many beneficial lectures uh, that are uploaded on uh, many social media platforms or, or many internet websites. And of course, if you choose the YouTube platform, there's many uh, speakers of Ahl Sunnah that are teaching about Ramadan and teaching about the benefits of Ramadan and teaching a, about good and good manners and teaching about just all the things that we need to practice our deen in the fiqh of maybe Salat. I mean, you, it's there. It's there for us nowadays. So very important to benefit as much as you can from your time. Don't get discouraged. This is the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah is testing you to see which of you is best indeed. So let's see how you react in this test. And this is advice first and foremost for myself, because I have 
business and moving and things that I have to think about during this holy month of Ramadan that I wish I had more time to focus on my ibadah and reading the Quran, but I have to balance the things that I have to deal with in this dunya. So, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina dhaban nar wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.